everyone. Welcome back to the Pretty Pattern Paper Playground. This is Evie and I've taken over Caddy's channel. I am starting off with this My Mind's Eye st uh, story, my story paper, and it's called um, Heirloom Roses. So you saw me cut out the center so that I can have these gorgeous floral decals. And then I'm using this other like beige on beige toned um, paper that is from like a paper pad collection. I think I got it from... Joanne Fabrics. It's called Gilded Gold. And it's just a lovely tone paper so that I wanted just the edges to have this nice bold black and white stripe. That way I didn't lose all the gorgeous flowers of this paper because it was so pretty and I've been hoarding it forever. <laughs> Don't we all do that? We hoard the pretty floral paper, anything that Maggie Holmes does. This one was my mind's eye. They did a very good job with this collection. So I am liking the way this looks, but I want more of these clusters. So I do go around and fussy cut some more of these gorgeous florals out. Now I am scrapbooking um, another picture in a dress that is from the LuLaRoe collection. Um, if you've been watching a few of my videos, I have been scrapping a lot about them. And I just wanted to document my kind of start uh, with the LuLaRoe, being a LuLaRoe consultant. So this is a Carly dress in like a cute pumpkin spice color, I keep on calling it. And I've just had fun like doing different photo shoots, styling the clothes in different ways. I think I definitely have found my calling. It definitely makes me happy. So, you know me, I'm the chronic scrapbook girl, so I have to document some of these pictures that I post on Instagram. So I'm taking my um, stencil that I used in a previous layout as well, and I am taking the Art Basics. You saw me use the 3D Gloss Gel. I like this one for a more dimensional element to it. The stencil is by the Crafters Workshop, and it's called um, Capricious. And I will then be going in with um, glitter. The glitter I used, you saw me haul it during my expo haul, and it's from, what is that place, Sparkle and something something, and this one is called Chantilly, and it is truly like a mix of pink and gold and champagne glitter. It's so pretty. I have to start busting out these glitters. If you saw my haul back then, I bought, how many is in here? I'm looking at the tube, like 11 tubes of glitter and all of these fantastic, gorgeous mixes. And I haven't been playing with them a lot. So my favorite technique to use with glitter is my gel through stencils. And then you let it dry. Now you could have, mi I could mix also, because I've seen it done, the mix the glitter on the gel separately. Like if you have a palette um, area or something, could definitely work. Um, I just prefer using the gel through the stencil and the glitter like this because it doesn't seem to be that big of a deal to mix it up. And that's just deli paper, so it doesn't stick to it. So it definitely is, um, I get every drop used of my glitter. I don't like waste too much. So I'm just cleaning up some of the excess that it's on my mat. And I'll let that dry. It dries for a little bit, so don't rush it. So here it is dry. And like I said, it's like a pinky, goldy champagne finish. Ah, oh, so pretty. Oh my goodness. So definitely try this technique. You know I've done it before. So don't be afraid to let it dry on the side. It kind of takes as long as a dazzler, I would say. <laughs> so I, like I said, I cut out a few more of these clusters of these gorgeous florals for my layout. And we will go, um, and I use them like, just like this. This is, this is how it stays. So definitely um, don't go back and add in anything else. I use a few of the butterfly cork pieces from the Spiegel Mom Scrap Store. You know that I'm a design team member there, so I love the butterfly elements. Then I also take a few of the word stickers from, it is called We Are Memory Keepers Wildflower Sticker Collection. I still have tons of these stickers, so I do a little cluster in the bottom right corner with about three words, and then I take my very last um, cork <laughs> butterfly piece. I have to order more from the Spiegel Mom Store. And add that there and it's really nice. So I do kind of, um, my journaling for this is just kind of like my onboarding date because I did just start becoming a LuLaRoe consultant. I just had my launch party last Sunday and I've had one other sale since then and so far so good. Um, you know, you're, obviously there's going to be a little bit of a learning curve so I'm okay with that but I am super excited for the future for me. Um, I think it'll be something where I will love it more and be able to maybe walk away from my current full-time career. Um, I'm not in love with it anymore. I'm sure people can relate with that. So it's just about, you know, reinventing myself and I'm loving it. And I still love my scrapbooking, so I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Please hop over to uh, to my channel, actually, to watch Caddy's version of the the 
the mood board that we're playing with. Thank you so much for joining us. Please subscribe to both of our channels. And Caddy's over on mine, so I'm sure she's doing something similar with the mood board. You saw it um, in the beginning of the video. Thank you so much, as always, for joining me. Have a good evening. Bye.